So as soon as we said, Colin's going to build a Group 5 and stick it on air suspension, everyone was like... Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Got a special surprise for you guys today. Check it out. It's Custom Colours E21 Group 5 homage project. I'm here with Colin, the owner. How you doing, man? Good, man. Good. So obviously, me and you have been part of this project for a very long time. Yes. Two plus years. Yes, keep me motivated. Of course, it's so cool to finally see this car done. Obviously, we have actually been documenting the car over the past two years yeah. over on the Slam Sanctuary separate channel. So if you want to see the actual build for this car, head over to the Slam Sanctuary channel. We'll put a link in the description for that. But at the moment, Everyone's been admiring it. It's been debuted here at Players Classic yeah. in Goodwood. I say I hope to do it last year, but it never happened. Is it just nice to finally say it's done, it's here, it's made oh, it to the 100%. show? hundred percent. I say just the, the welcoming and their comments have been unbelievable. It's cracking. It is insane. Yeah. I mean, let's can we start with the paintwork because what is this thing? It's. It, I remember we were discussing ideas, and we were never. We, it was so hard to decide what to do with the paint. I say when when we first looked originally, we had an um, image from Rosso Course, whether that computer game, yeah. or whatever it's called, and we were like, "I'll oh, we'll do that," but it, it didn't work. And we didn't want to imitate something that had been done. No, we, did, we didn't want to copy something because every Tom, Dick, and Harry have got something to say, and they'd be like, "Oh, you've not done it right." But it's our take. It's how we wanted a, a twist on a cool looking it's like car. A, it's like you're right it's like a custom colors art car that's yeah. like what i'd call it yeah and designed by the guys at uh, the room. room yeah we all had our ideas Super like cars. yourself we all had our ideas we all put it together and this is what um the boys at the room come up with yeah it's very very cool indeed i just love the colors obviously you love the purple you've done purple in a few different cars before yeah yeah, yeah, so yeah a bit yeah. of that in a bit of the blue and of course the blue follows the cage throughout the yeah, car yeah it ties it all through um the colors we literally changed it the day before we painted it okay having trouble getting colors but we decided on that and then went for it. So should we start with what it is? Because it it's obviously an E21, e but e it's not a E21 frame, is it? No, it's um, a custom built frame for me and Chris Wyatt and then Del Smith, everyone like yourself, everyone was involved in helping us put it together. And then um, E39, running gear. So it's a custom chassis that you and Chris fabricated from scratch. So you bought an E39, 540 yeah. manual, six speed manual, yeah. preface of car. So I think it's non vanos yeah, or something like that. Uh, so a good starting point. Yeah, good, the car was good engine. Yeah, it was a real nice car. And then you yeah. just decided to cut, cut it, it up. up completely. But yeah, crazy. So we'll show you a little bit of the engine bay shortly. But yeah, very, very cool. Um, but why did you decide to do the custom frame? No, rather um, than just get, using another E21 shell? Yeah, well, we, had, we got two body shells. Originally, we were looking at like using a running gear, but it's old hat, isn't it? And yeah. it just, you know, it just seemed to make sense to try you, and use something you different. Make and, everything fit how yeah, you want it and to fit. Because they're subframes, it's sort of how it's done in America. They make a frame, chuck the subframes yeah. in it. It's sort of a and nice, easy way of doing it. And let's talk about the, the, the kit itself. So it's it's a Group 5 replica kit? Group 5 replica kit. It was a bit of a story to get the kit, but we won't go into that. Well, I remember we drove yeah. to the middle of Germany yeah. two and a, probably two and a half years ago. Yeah, yeah. Literally found yeah. some dude December, and picked uh, November up kit. November 2019. November 2019. We jumped in the van and drove to the centre of Germany and, yeah, brought back this kit, which Everyone well, asks us, where do you get this kit? Where do you get the kit? Yeah. But, but it's been a lot of work to get it to, to yeah, see how it, it does. Yeah, it didn't fit. It wasn't all there. But that's, um, what, that's what you specialise in. You run a body yeah. shop. Nothing you, there's nothing you can't do, really. I nah, that's so we got around it. It makes yeah. fit, basically, at the end <laughs> yeah, of the day. Yeah, basically, yeah. The craziest thing about this car is that it's a Group 5 on air suspension. So it is running full airlift performance kit. Obviously, because yeah. it's running parts from the E39, we went for an E39 kit. Yeah, basically, uh, well, Henry spoke to Airlift and they're like, we want to be involved, which is obviously great. And they said, what do you need to make it? And we said, well, just supply us a straightforward off the shelf kit for an E39 because it bolts straight in. And it worked and we made it yeah. work, we adapted it to work. And the wheels, obviously, the guys at Right Form have uh, helped yeah. big time. I think we were originally talking, well, obviously the original Group 5s run the BBS, the Mags. Yeah, yeah. And we wanted something like, 
old school like that period, right, with a modern twist? Yeah, it's, the shape works, doesn't it? It's such a known. Going for a mesh look. centre, yeah. I think, had to be the way. Had to be so done. Jason, well, Jason had ideas, we had ideas, and Jason pulled out the bag and. Yeah, so we obviously, Carl was speaking to Jason at Roadform just to come up with something. They obviously already did the LHR centre design, yeah. but they yeah. were obviously turned it into a centre lock. You've got custom centre lock conversions. Yeah, yeah, we've had centre locks made for it. Yeah, so this is all being customised. Yeah. And yeah, obviously, 19, do you remember the widths of them? I can't remember. So it's all, I, 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 all I can say is it's running, what, 17? 17, 19. And 19, so a huge, huge stagger. Yeah. And if you look at the car side on from a distance, you see how insane it looks. Yeah, and that's yeah, how yeah. Uh, how some of the original group cars did. They did run a crazy Yeah, yeah, they, they run, was it 17, 19, 16, 18? All they sorts. Had a few they had all variations. Sorts. So that was also a difficulty for you, was like deciding what oh, to go for yeah. and like what rim parts were available. So I think this is a good like in between. I so the, the other limitation was, was tyres. That, that is the biggest tyre Nankang made. Nankang UK? Yeah, Nankang UK. They hooked us up, sorted us out with tyres. <laughs> Should we have a look at the interior because that steering wheel looks like it should have been in one of the race cars. Yeah, well, he's now a good friend of ours. We managed to see another shell for sale. Well, we went up and got the shell. Oh yes, the car. So yeah. you bought two cars. Yeah, we got one them. one bare shell, which is what this is, and then we found another shell, which unfortunately was worse for wear. So cool. And uh, it was a complete car, but in bits. And then we got back and actually found that steering wheel in the box. And then Henry's like, that's the one off the bloody car. I remember look, we looked on a few Google images and yeah, we were like, yeah. that looks like, a, like the race car yeah. steering wheel. And so, it is, which is yeah. pretty cool. And you, it looks like you've got it trimmed recently. Yeah, so. um, Brad at and Seam sort us out on the trim. And he's matched the, uh, the seats, obviously, um, which he trimmed himself. So, so what are the seats? Uh, Sparco's. Which are fully retrimmed, and we used the uh, yeah, M fabric. This that's M fabric. M fabric. It looks so good. Such a like, it's not too in your face. But it no, I think it's all thing. modern but subtle. So cool. Harnesses look really cool. Yeah, um, but the interior was black. Yeah, first off, yeah, you painted we, it. We sprayed it all black, and then we're like, oh, it looks crap. <laughs> so we sprayed it white, and then. I sort of thought I'd change the harness, but I already brought them and they got the silver bits in there, so it ties it in. The beauty of running a body shop, he doesn't like it, he just repaints it, simple as that. It's some easier and cleaner, isn't it? Some aggro, yeah, yeah, true. And CAE shifter? Yeah, hack engineering hooks up with the CAE. It looks super cool, is that? Right, that must it, be really it, nice. Yeah, it just looks proper, doesn't it? Yeah. What else is going on? So we've got a handbrake. Yeah, OBP, pedal box, handbrake, just keeping it in matching. I mean, it, I know it's a hydraulic handbrake, it's not a drift car, but yeah. it, it works, it looks right. So what about the engine management and ECU and all that stuff? How um, does it work? Because I think running, you've removed some stuff from the engine, right? Yeah, um, we found a guy which done ECUs. We had a bit of a trouble trying to find someone actually used the original BM one. So obviously you've got um, ABS, EWS and all mm. that junk, and it won't run without everything yeah. on it. And this guy basically said, oh, I can do an ECU, fully stripped. Um, Chris then had to work out what we didn't need and bless him, he spent a while and he, he cracked it. And yeah. we basically had a frame made, the engine's running on a bench for a while to check everything would work sure. before then transplanting in the car. So yeah, Chris absolutely smashed it and made the engine work with only a handful of wires. It's nice to see the M60 B44 just like yeah. pretty bare. As it, it is. Looks tidy. It's a weird looking engine yeah. stock, but we've got the covers off. Yeah, they've got a horrible engine cover Yeah, they're, they're not, they're not, they're not look at, are they? No. It's a bit ls looking with the inlet. Exactly. So we stripped it bare and it, cool. it runs. And then Fordy made a complete custom loom and between him and Chris, they hooked the engine to the loom. Wow. We've got uh, race technology Digi Dash, yeah. which now runs all the sensors for the engine. The steering wheel is wireless to the car, which Neil worked out how that all worked. So, so many little bits, it's just, so well, it's it's endless mods to this car. I know it's a road car, it's not a race yeah. car, it's never going to be race, but yeah. everything on it, we want it to be functional. Sure. I don't want it to be a car where it's like got stuff on there, like even the coolers in the, in the quarters, they oh, work. Yes. So there's, there's actually intercoolers either side down here, which is insane, so cool. So they haven't, you haven't just left it because it's nah, a so show every, car. Everything it's, on there, I mean, even like, the fire extinguisher pools, they're all there for a reason. Wow. They work and it's what the car cool. should have had. Yeah. Even things like this, like the cooling. <laughs> yeah, braking ducts. We have got a couple of hookup on the front still. And you're running, no, so there's no glass, just the windscreen is. And like, yeah, only the front one, yeah, all the nice. rest are left in. And then I've noticed over here in the back, like, check this out guys, this is crazy. What he's done with the airlift manifold and the hard lines. I love that little touch and also, 
Yeah, flow air eye tank as well, which looks yeah, which Kaz real nice. Yeah, out. So we gotta make so the, uh, cool, yeah. make it all look nice. So nice, man. But yeah, the, the craziest thing about this car has gotta be this wang. <laughs> it's so, look at it, it's so long. Obviously, orig originally it should be bolted off the boot and it looked a bit lame. Well, going through all the archives of obviously all the E21 stuff we stored and took photos of, and we've been to Munich a few times and we now looked yes. at the original ones. Yeah. And there is one basically like this, which um, Team Principal from McLaren owns in his collection, and I like, basically copied it and uh, made it my way. Yeah. So, aluminium, which uh, was donated by an airplane company. Nice. And uh, yeah, polished it up and Put it on there, cool. yeah, just basically make some stanchions, lift it up, couple of mates laid up some bits of alley. It's insane. Yeah. Should we move round to the back? Just seeing the presence of this thing from behind is just nuts. It looks like, like a different car from the really. Yeah, it's, I say, I'm keeping it all black, just being a bit different. Yeah, and if so, if you've got anything going on in the back? Uh, in a tank, custom fuel tank, which basically sits dead between the rails, obviously, because it's the chassis we made. Yeah. Um, electric power steering, which Chris hooked up. It's basically like a generic pump that loads, loads of manufacturers use it nowadays, a lot yeah. of the drift boys are, so yeah. we've still got power steering. Twin via uh, triple fours, I think what's we got from Kaz? We got, yeah, we got, we got obviously dual, a one from pack. airlift, then we want to go dual. It's so, nice uh, to see so many like, different companies get involved. Yeah, in yeah, I mean, as soon as, as soon as we said, oh, Colin's, Colin's going to build a Group 5 and stick it on air suspension, everyone was like, well, yeah, we want to get involved because why not? Yeah. It's not it's not been done before. This is a, this is like a one-off car, never been done. No one's put a Group Five homage replica, whatever you want to call it, car on air like this. And it's, we were looking at them in the museums; like, yeah. they're all raised up like no, they're, crazy. They're, yeah. how, obviously, how they used to race I mean, them. The presence of it is. And you're just like, what car. if we just slap one on the floor? Yeah. It's just going to look sick, and it does. It really does. But I think there was a lot of um, apprehension from everybody yeah. who thought it was being made, and obviously, as soon as we. Well, it's been black for what? Months. Yeah, so it? you sprayed the whole car black oh, first. Yeah. And, and then I remember you saying, should we just leave it black? But, but then I think we, well, we, we discussed had, yeah, it. We, we had, said, we look, had, we've got to make it crazy. Yeah, it's got we to had to do it. some of it. Considering it's what you do, you're paying. Yeah, I mean, dare I say it, we did discuss wrapping it purely because of time. Yeah. And I'm glad we didn't. I'm, I'm glad he didn't wrap it. He's a painter <laughs> and he's showing off his skill, some serious skills here. Obviously, with help from the Syrup Room guys, yeah. they've put loads of work into it too. So sick. But one thing I've just noticed, which I haven't mentioned, is the exhaust system. So obviously, we'll put some B-roll shots, but there's a, it's got a side exit on, which is just like the old school Group 5, the race cars actually had. Yeah, a lot of them so originally sick. run it through the seal. Yeah. Um, SS smashed a really cool system up so for what us. Have they, what have they actually built? Is it a complete system um, from Manifold? Custom headers, really, really tight. I mean, the, the boys really did pull it out for that. that is fun. And it, it sounds nuts. Yeah, it's an odd sound. It's, yeah. it's you know, I think um, Danny said it's like more of a European V8, because mm. obviously American V8s are a hell of a noise. Yeah. But yeah, it's a, it's a very unique sound, but yeah, it's basically straight through. We have got bolts on the side on a valve, so we can quiet it down, but mm. it doesn't make much difference. No, but yeah, it's, it's loud. I remember hearing this thing when it had no exhaust on. We first got like, the yeah, engine Yeah, open head is oh, just it horrendous. Was insane. It was like so it. loud. I just can't get over the paintwork, man. It's just, it's, so it's it's different all around, isn't it? It's yeah, not yeah, the whole pattern symmetrical, is completely different all the way around. Yeah. Nothing flows into itself. It's all, well, it, the lines flow, but nothing follows itself. Absolute madness. And yeah, man. So, yeah, all the little details in the bonnets, all this, absolutely insane. Single wiper conversion. Yeah, I think the original ones, few of them have and few don't, but it is a. A DTM nice. car, really, isn't and it? I love that even like the extended lip here, just yeah, to that little bit closer to the ground. So cool. Talk to me about these. Right hand side, as you're in the car, is the um, air intake, and then the left one we, at the moment is just stuck into the open air and sort of the back of the engine for Looks the cooling. Super nice, like that, super hard. Yeah, just, obviously, there was like, do you run uh, dual headlights? Yeah, do you run single headlights? So, yeah, like, that's a real nice. We've like, got all, all the different grills you can get for it, and then just going through it before we've got to run twins. A lot of race cars did, so and they did actually duck them. So cool, man. And SS Auto Works, they also built the full cage, right? Full cage. Uh, the cage is literally goes through the bulkhead, which there was no bulkhead. We had to make a bulkhead. And you gave him an idea of yeah, what we, we wanted. Yeah, um, when we took the car up to hold to Danny, we had a, a good chat about what we wanted. And Danny, obviously, 
nose metal and yeah, knows what he's but doing. Yeah, we just left it up to Dan. So that so that cage is built into the turrets all round. Yeah, basically Dan has good. made turrets the front with a bonnet off. So custom top mount. Yeah, and basically from A pillars forward, it's all complete custom from Danny. Yeah. Uh, flows straight to the back. We made the turret tops for the actual mounts for the shocks, which is again very similar to the original one. The cars original race cars that come through the shelf. Yeah. The shelf we kept original to the actual E21, then Dan tied all that into the cage through the boot, through the front. So cool. And the wing mirrors, um, again, crazy, a different color, different, uh, yeah. sorry, different color, different sides, yeah, insane. Are they like how the race cars wear or are they slightly different? The, some of them run them on the actual front of the A pillar yeah. and the serve and run them on those little stanchions. So James gave me a hand, we smashed out some little brackets so cool. and just mimicked one of the original race cars we saw. They I think it really works nice. better there. Can't see nothing in it, but yeah. they look cool. <laughs> no, you're not going to see anything yeah. if you look at it. So what's the point? So fortunately, I've got enough mates to stand behind and wave at me <laughs> when I'm back in it. Should we show them the engine? Yeah, might yeah, be a little yeah. Bit dirty, but yeah, I was saying this, uh... it might be clean. I can't remember. <laughs> we'll see. It's been in a body shop. So. So yeah, you, you can see now what SSO works have done. Yeah, oh, I'd say it's, it's quite a Sick. quite a framework. It's insane, and yeah, airlift the airlift shown yeah. there. And yeah, as you said, the M60 looks so much nicer about that horrible. Yeah, cover all on. the cover off. I mean, there's loads of stuff we've took off the engine to make I it, can see it so to where really, it is. Really, really nice, mate. I, I'm speechless. It's just so I love how the blue and the cage just ties through the whole car. It's so cool to see it like this. Yeah, nice not being in the workshop. And you, yeah, but you had to go. You had to go V8. You've always loved V8. Yeah, we, well, we we spoke about LS, didn't we? I, I nearly brought an E21 from America, which had a, a V8 in yeah. it, but it was an absolute bastard. We were case. backwards and forwards for ages. Like, oh, just yeah. stick an LS, just stick an LS. Like, just stick I'm going to buy a, 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 a Fox a body Mustang. I found a couple of drag cars. I'll buy that and we'll take the engine out. And then you're like, oh, don't be a dick. Scott, I thought it had to be. It <laughs> yeah. had to be a BMW engine. We, we, like, we wanted on. the original race engine, didn't we? But yeah, the original race crazy. engine is a house Stupid deposit. Money. Yeah. So yeah, mate, so cool to see it finally here. I bet you're well happy, well stoked that it's done. Yeah, it's so it's like, like I said previously, it's just so nice. The amount of lovely comments, I mean, I, oh, I said to you, I mean, you know me, I'm, I'm not the happiest of people. I say what I think and yeah. I'm not a smiler. And, and I, yeah, I, I but you get on with it, man. Yeah, you but as like I said to you, it's like, it's going to be a love or hate car. And I, mean, I don't really care what people think, but it, well, everyone, I mean, my phone has gone mental. We've already done a day at Players uh, yesterday, and it, yeah. everyone's loving say, this car. We, well, it's Jay, one the, yeah, Jay and the boys done it best car. I mean, like, awesome. really appreciate that. It's, it's nice being appreciated for what you do. Well deserved, man. And I think you're going to get shit loads of attention from this car totally. now. It's going to Poland alt race soon. Next yeah, fingers weeks. crossed. As long as the boys get paperwork sorted, she's <laughs> off to Poland on Saturday. Oh, I can't wait. Anyway, mate. Uh, thanks thank for the support, mate. Thank you for showing mate. me the car. I appreciate it. No, and, uh, guys, if you've enjoyed this episode, please remember to like, share it with your mates, and hit that subscribe button. Please hit the subscribe button if you're enjoying the content. We got some more cool stuff coming for you very, very soon. In the meantime, I'll leave you with this. <laughs>